We're doing 10 caps today. If you're thinking about it, you're like, wait a minute, didn't didn't you get like first try nut jump and the run was really good? How are you going to PB in 10 captures? Well, there's something that we weren't taking advantage of before because I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to put the effort in yet. What I'm going to have to do now is because in the rules for 10 captures, you are allowed to use two player mode for the entire run. I only used it for like 20 seconds. But what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how to play with my feet and my hands. Just like, look at me rolling. That's two player. That's what two player does. Look at that. We're going to have to like figure out how the heck to play and what we need to do to, to be able to do this. Doing 10 caps again. I still haven't PB'd, but I'm going to soon. It might be today. We'll see. I hope so. Let's start a run, by the way. There we go. We're starting. Do I watch YouTube or just Twitch? I don't really watch much Twitch. I actually, for the first time, like, this morning, I was, like, getting, like, ready. I was having a shower and, you know, do doing, like, breakfast things. And I went on to Twitch and actually, like, went to new streams for the first time in, like, months. And it was kind of weird because I went to, like, probably ten different streams. And on five of them, they're like, small ant! I've seen your stuff! I'm like, what? This is so weird. And then the other five streams I went to, they are like, what do you- what do you do? And I- they like clicked on my name, and they saw nipple. What- what is nipple? You're playing with your nipples? It's like, oh my god, why are you looking at the Friday stream that the title just was nipple at the start? <laughs> These people think I'm friggin' weird now. Hey, you're that nipple guy, yes. So yeah, if I go to streams these days, it's either uh, you're that nipple guy or uh, you're that speedrunner guy. One of the two, nothing else. I'm not known for anything else. Weird but a cool weird, I get that a lot. <laughs> like whenever I like start talking to someone like one-on-one, -on -one, like one of the first things they say is they're like, you're really weird. And I'm like, thanks. And they're like, no, but I mean in like a good way. Oh. Will it be a good intense or a bad intense experience? Okay, I wasn't sure if Cappy got up there. I'll risk it. I'm risking it. I don't care. I think I might have messed up the setup a little bit. We'll see. We got it. We're good. We go, boys. What is the weirdest thing you've experienced? Okay. I was at my dad's place, because my, my parents are separated, right? And I think he was at work and I was just hanging out with his girlfriend. I was like super young, we just finished watching Pokemon Forever. The, with the Celebi. It was real good. I was in the basement, we had just finished it, and we turned everything off and, and started walking upstairs. And then everything in the basement turned on at once. Like, the lights turned on, the stereo turned on, the TV turned on, the toys that had, like, physical switches turned on. Sometimes when you remember things that are younger, you remember them inaccurately. But I distinctly remember going up to one of my toys, and it was physically flipped on. It took, like, five, ten minutes to turn everything back off. Yeah, but I remember going to bed and just thinking, yeah, that was weird. And didn't think anything of it. We kind of, like, both looked at each other when we were walking upstairs, and we were like, that was kind of weird, wasn't it? And it was like, yeah. I don't know why I wasn't more scared of that. How many toys do you have with switches? Not that many. Probably what happened is just like a very like lucky, I guess, circumstance where like maybe a power surge like turned on the TV and some of the electronics. And then maybe some stuff in like a toy box got shuffled around a little bit and managed to bump a few of them on. Like that's the best guess of what happened, but it was... It was very, very strange. Yeah, nobody was messing with us. No, the, the house was empty. How's your day going? It's good, but I got a lot less done than I wanted to, but I still got stuff done. Like, it wasn't of any fault of my own that I didn't get stuff done. I wanted to get a haircut, my car didn't start. Wanted to grocery shopping, my car didn't start. Wanted to finish the failboat video, the audio was so bad. 
Like, it is so bad. It's taking me a forever to edit that thing. Could have walked to the store lazy. If you live in Canada and the US, I think you'll realize that, like, everything is, like, a minimum 10-minute drive away. In, in Europe, everything is within walking distance. You can walk to another country in a lot of places in Europe. You could probably cross, like, two countries in a day which, in Europe. Here, you can cross, like, your town in a day. Like, everything is so spread out. I lived probably like a two-hour walk from my school. I mean, not true. I said a lot of places in Europe. I didn't say all of Europe. Obviously, like, you can't just walk across Russia in an afternoon. <laughs> or maybe you can. I don't know. There's a store to your house is seven miles. Yeah, like, the place that I get a haircut at is, like, across town. It would take me probably, like, an hour and a half to get there. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? You, you left this very open-ended, so I feel like I could take advantage of the question. I would go to a place where I could live in luxury for the rest of my life without having to worry about it. Or, alternatively, I would go to a planet with alien life just to know if it exists, you know? If it's like a genie, they'll be like, where do you want to go? Send me to a planet with alien life for like 20 minutes, but make sure I survive. Then like, I can't do that. Like, okay, well then they don't exist. Uh, I'd go to Australia, I'd go to Japan, I'd go to Europe. No, 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 I'd go to another friggin' planet, dude. You gotta open your mind. What if it's just an empty planet with a bunch of bacteria or something? I would be okay with that. Basically, as long as there's something living on the- If- if I get sent somewhere, then I know that they- it exists. There's more than just us. Like, the fact that they're mathematically more likely to live in a simulation than reality. You're mathematically to be- how, wait, there's- it's mathematically proven that we're more likely to be living in a simulation? How does that work? Like, a genuine question. I'm not doubting it, I just- I'm just curious. Don't know the properties behind it myself, but this is a topic widely talked about by physicists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson isn't a physicist, is he? I thought he was like, a, a, a not astrologist, no. Uh, what, what is Neil deGrasse Tyson again? I can't actually remember, but I'm pretty sure he's not like a- He's an astrophysicist, okay. So he is a physicist, got it. There are two leading theories that all physical constraints that allow for life is very much... Is very much a massive coincidence or something someone made them what they are. God or simulation. Saying something like that feels too easy, you know? We don't know enough about the universe to be able to make those, like, wild claims. What if the universe is so big that it's super easy, like, life isn't even hard to make? Like, life is, like, a really high chance of happening with... In just in general. Like, we haven't explored enough to be able to know. We haven't even friggin' left our solar system. How are we supposed to say, Oh, it's super unlikely that life is possible, when what if it's, like, super easy? And just, it happens everywhere. This is too much for your brain? It's getting too existential for you? <laughs> I don't need an existential crisis today. I'm just in that existential crisis mood, okay? My mom is in here, we're getting wild with the existential crises. Aw, oh, heck, my mom's here. Oh my god. What have we done? I'm sorry, Mom, I didn't mean to talk about aliens and existential crisis again. I know you don't like that, Mom, but I just- I just can't help myself. <laughs> Ever heard of a solipsism? The idea that the only living creature in existence and everything else is imaginary. Yeah, I'm the only one. That's me. I'm just a brain in a jar. One, two, three. I should stop being a baby and go for the higher platform. Cause I am being a bit of a baby. Even if creating life was easy, things like gravitational constants and stuff or the speed of light and those things are slightly different planets wouldn't be able to exist and everything would be gas or everything is mass mass black hole. Here's the thing, if planets couldn't exist, what if like conscious life would be able to form out of like gas clouds? Even if the numbers were slightly different, you, you could still like form things that might be able to have some form of consciousness, right? It's just it might be in a different sense that we that we know of right now. Yo, Fearsome, it's still the four months. Hello, young ant. Hello, my young flame. How are you? Younger flame? Wait, isn't that like a term for someone that you're like interested in? Yeah, okay. My, uh, my, uh, my friendly f fire. <laughs> Yikes. Sorry, I just, uh, I gotta fuel the fanfic somehow. <laughs> Today's chat is kind of weird, yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Whoop. Switch to just chatting, let us debate all of existence. 
Everyone's being so close-minded just because life on Earth survives water and food. Carbon based doesn't mean that other life in the universe will be the same in the same way. You need to open our minds more. Yeah. Like, what if life exists in a way that's more like, what's the word, like, nebulous, you know? What if it's a more abstract thing? How do you define life? God, what, are we getting into this? <laughs> I don't friggin' know, dude. The condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, continual change, preceding death. Wait, preceding death. To live means that you have to eventually die? Is the definition of life include the stipulation that you have to die? If we somehow figure out a way to reverse or negate the effects of aging in humans, are we no longer living? Because we won't die a natural death eventually. According to the definition, yes? Okay, that is so weird. We're turning into fearsome? We're not- no, this isn't controversial. This is just an interesting conversation that we're having. It's not fearsome at all. Life is evolving to prevent death and maximize reproduction. Without those pressures, you aren't going to continue to behave like a living species. Eunuchs aren't alive? I mean, no, they- they- when they- they have the capacity to in like a- I don't want to say normal human being in like a common case? Yeah. In the common case, most people are able to, you know? There's a type of jellyfish that can de-age itself, so is it not living? Exactly, yeah. And there are animals that can basically live forever. Are they not living then? It can choose to live forever if it so desires. They cannot live forever when they're not living yet. I really love seeing where I'm going. I couldn't. A lot of proposed ideas claim not dying from age makes you immortal. But as long as you can die from something, you're still being pressured to survive and you're still alive. Okay. So until we eliminate any risk of death, we're still alive. Got it. That's good. Do you think we'll get to the point where we don't age? That'd be cool, but overpopulation would be insane. I imagine there would be some form of population control if we do get to that point. Like, obviously, if we get to that point, there's probably gonna be some laws or, like, there might be a thing where if you get the process where you don't age, you're not able to reproduce. Obviously, it's gonna be some, like, genetic modifications to your body. You know, they have some sort of, like, rules with that, you know? Do you remember? What? The... 21st of September? Is that the day? 21st night. Ah. They're over a hundred thousand years old. Dang. I strive to one day be as old as Bryn. No, I guess we wouldn't do anything to control it. We'd all just die from overpopulation. I mean... I can't imagine that everyone would die from overpopulation, but like, a lot of people would. The thing with population, it probably regulates itself. I'm not in humane way, because it's not really controlling itself, but if there's too many people, some people are just gonna be gone, if you, you know what I mean. Modern medicine impede that self-regulation, but I mean like overpopulation in terms of like, oh, there just isn't enough food in the world. We literally can't feed everyone. Thanos time, Thanos time, no, 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 no. Deep thoughts with ant time, apparently that's what today is, yeah, Timic. People wouldn't care to have kids if they could live forever. You know, that, that might be true. Less people would probably opt to have kids, because I know, I feel like a lot of people have kids to, uh, like, I'm not saying everyone, but I, I'd, I'd assume a lot of people have kids for the sake of having sort of a legacy, you know? They want to be able to impact the world in a meaningful way, and, and I feel like having a, a child is, is the easiest way to do that, you know? Whether it be good or bad. I'm not sure what to do right now, you've tried to find a real friend group for most of my high school experience. Current friends you sit in lab with my jokes with me, but I'm not invited to the stuff they do. Have you ever had this issue? Crazy James. Kind of? Telekinesis is the best choice. Telekinesis is pretty good, but also, like, for me, it would either be telekinesis, because that's super, super versatile, or being able to send your consciousness back in time into a younger version of yourself. Because then you're basically able to read minds, you can tell the future, you can live every life that you want to live. If you ever get into an accident, uh, you can undo it instantly. Ability to change probabilities, then you can do anything. You, you can also do that change probabilities power with 
the uh, being able to send your consciousness back in time. Because if you don't like how something turns out, you go back in time and you do it again. It, it would, you'd be able to make something happen eventually. The power to summon the ham. Of course, the most beautiful power. You make the probability of something happening to 100%, but yeah, but here's the thing style-wise with that, life would get boring. If you want someone to say something or you want to read someone's mind, you want to like know what someone is thinking or you want to know what they're gonna say, you can just, ch you can change what they say, but you never know what they actually wanted to say, right? You can make them say anything because there's always a chance that they say what you're thinking, but it's probably very low. Whereas with the, with the sending your consciousness back in time, that would be more of like a game, you know? It would be a more interesting way to live. And you could get your, what you want eventually to happen, right? The morality of superpowers. <laughs> How would sending your consciousness back in time work with affecting your current situation? I mean, you just wouldn't exist in that situation anymore. Good. Love the ability to think like a computer. Very analytical emotion wouldn't affect your decisions or thinking. The scary thing about that OJTV Live is that I feel like, like, if you had that ability, it would affect your personality so much that it wouldn't be a good thing. If you had the ability to think like a computer, you'd probably only think like a computer. You, you wouldn't be really human anymore. Like, and even if you had a switch where it's like, I can turn on and off the computer part of my brain, I feel like the computer part would always stay on, because the computer part is like, I don't want to think illogically. So obviously I don't want to go back to thinking like a regular human. I feel like thinking like a computer wouldn't be a good thing, because then you would lose the thing that makes you a human being. A lot of the time human beings' decisions and thoughts are heavily based on emotion and stuff, and so... Having like a computer for your brain Having a part of that it would probably kind of want to take over because obviously you're you're not gonna be making the best decisions If you're always thinking about them from a, like a human perspective. I like a lot of us are having the this like super deep Conversation and then occasionally I just see a message in chat. I want to become a circle. I I, I like I want a circle <laughs> It's so good you want to be a circle now? Honestly, same. <laughs> it would make things so easy. I want the power of determination. Honestly, if we're talking about like a superpower that isn't super, that would just be like kind of nice to have. I would like the power to be able to like adjust my levels of focus towards something. The power to be able to focus on a single thing 100% and completely zone out everything else would be so nice. You could be so productive. <laughs> so I could focus on runs and ignore chat. No. <laughs> I could say, all right, 70% chat, 30% game. Or maybe like 69% chat, 30% game, 1% my surroundings, just in case there's a fire. <laughs> what about the ability to never make a mistake on a run? Nah, that I wouldn't choose that. I would not choose that superpower. The power to never make mistakes. Everything would be so boring. That would be the last mistake you ever made. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> if you wish to not make any mistakes for the rest of your life, that would be the last mistake you ever make. Also, if, if we're talking about like a genie and you wish for a superpower, if you wish for the superpower to go back in time, like send your consciousness back in time, you could send your consciousness back in time before you wished the genie's wish and then wish again. So like, it's kind of broken. Power to not get bored? I mean, you have the power to not get bored already. Just gotta have some more friggin' motivation to do stuff. How about the power to be a functioning member of society? That would be pretty pog. <laughs> Your consciousness is aware of the power, but where does the power reside? It's magic. It, it doesn't reside. It's, it, it's beyond our understanding. Honestly, I would have the power to nut jump 50% of the time. That would be my superpower. I don't want to make it 100% because then there wouldn't be any stress, you know? You guys would just be like, yeah, just another nut jump, right? We got to add some stress to it. They'll be like, is this the 50? Is this the chance? Is this it? If you're 100% focused, how could you turn it off? You would never turn it off. You would always focus on that for the rest of your life. I'd imagine if you have that, if you wish for that power, you'd obviously have to add the stipulation that you can turn it off if necessary, you know? You can have the power to art. You have the power to art. It grows stronger with every drawing that you do is still hidden.
Uh, wet nuts and chat, please. Oh, look at all those wet nuts in chat. I love it. I love it. Have I played Xenoblade 2? I haven't even played the first one. Alright, I'm using my 100% focus power. Just give me a minute. I might never be able to come out of the focus power, though. We'll see. Ah, it was only a 90%. Let me increase it a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. 95% is good. 95% is good. Alright. 100% maybe? We'll see. Hundred percent focus, baby. <laughs> He's done it. It's okay. Now we just need to get up. Last two runs, we've died here after we got the nut jump. Let's not. Might lose like 20 seconds here if I mess this up. Okay, well, this could be a new world record. <laughs> Did I explain that I'm playing with both my hands and my feet this run the whole time? Yeah, but this whole run is done with my hands and feet, by the way. I'm playing with two controllers with my hands and feet. Look at this gold! Oh my god! Whew! Oh my god. My YouTube edit is gonna have a bunch of existential conversation. God, it's gonna be weird. How much is the world record? It's a 113.49. Here we go. The moment when you go away, he's about to nut jump, you come back and he's done, Steph? Yeah, it was first try nut jump. I used 100% focus. Apparently, I have the superpower. First run of the day, too. It was a first try nut? It was a first try nut. Another run after this? Yeah, I think we can technically beat this run. It's gonna be hard as hell, but I believe we can still beat this run. True X Deep? X Deep! <laughs> oh, look at all those XDs. They are so numerous, I love it. Oh my god! I didn't jump too early! I didn't jump too early! You guys know what happened? It's frame perfect. If you hit that wall as it disappears, it keeps the large hitbox and makes you fall. World record lost to a frame perfect trick that I've never made before. What a bittersweet run. It can be a YouTube edit if we get a world record in the next run. It's a PB. I'll take it. We're doing another run. We have over two minutes of time saving Moon now. Two minutes. Ant will world record if he reads this message. The Wolfian, oh my god, thank you. Thank you for this power. What even is slam poetry? It's poetry except it, it... You're just talking. It's just... It's poetry except it slams. Why am I so tired? Did I ever say I was tired? I don't think I... I don't feel tired, Sonny. Ant is woke, yeah. That, that's a good way of putting it, son. These conversations today have been woke, just like me. I'm not tired at all. Remember when you were trying to get to brew don't, you were so clean at it now? Yeah, it's gotten a lot better for sure. This trick is still a little inconsistent today. I'm only saying that because if I ever say I'm bad, I'm instantly good at the tricks, so. There you go. First try, yep, yeah, first try.
taking a picture of the flag as it is a war point? No. Uh, the reason why I go into snapshot mode there, Cappy can't activate a checkpoint unless the checkpoint is on screen, so you have to take it out of two-player mode. So you can go into snapshot mode. You go into snapshot mode so you can look up at the checkpoint and then Cappy is inside the checkpoint the entire time. But when it's on screen is when it activates it. Got that trick. Why are you doing one player strats? You play in one player until you do this clip because this clip is like damn near impossible in two player. I've always thought cupboard was spelled weird. You know? How it's spelled cupboard. I mean, it makes sense because it's basically like a board you put your cups on a lot of the time. But like, you also put plates there. Why is it called a cupboard? You don't pronounce this as cupboard? No, you say cupboard. C U B B A R D is probably a better way of spelling it. English is so dumb. It kind of is, yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's hot. Minute ahead. <laughs> oh. Second yawn of the day. Who else yawned? Hands up if you yawned. I got you. I got you so good. I tricked you into yawning. I'm just saying the word yawn over and over again. Joke's on you. It's a cozy stream now. You're all yawning. You thought it was an engaging, cool stream? No, it's just a basic cozy stream. You love being fiddled? Yeah, I'm... What does that even mean? I was about to say, yes, I'm fiddling you, but that doesn't... S that sounds gross. That doesn't sound at all like a, a verb I should use. I guess it could be like, played like a fiddle, maybe? Where it's like, you fell right into my trap, ha <laughs> ha Remember when we made you breathe manually just like I did right now? I'm always breathing manually. Like, blinking manually as well, I can always feel the weight of my clothes. Like, my tongue is never comfortable in my mouth because it, it just always is in the wrong spot. Like... You guys don't have this? This conversation seems familiar? Whenever it comes up, people are always angry for some reason. Plan doing Breath of the Wild 100% again? Yep, I'll be doing it again. Not anytime soon, but before Breath of the Wild 2 comes out of your muffs, for sure. Especially now that I'm doing, like, an all shrines run instead of an any percent, I'm gonna be even better at the 100%. How are you doing the cap jumps? Are ant feet being used? Yes. My feet are being used. This is my hands and feet. Mall ant, small ant, mall ant. How is the speed run going? Is someone named mall ant in here? I mean, it's going good so far, I think. I think I, I, if I tried hard enough, I could probably get through that with only taking one damage. Yep, there we go. All right, hundred percent focus again, maybe first try nut jump, get this world record. Like even better world record this time because we're even ahead of that run. The nut jumping is hot today! Ooh, baby! <laughs> it's another first try nut! There we go. Should be it. It should be it. Should be a world record. Two first try nuts today! Oh. We will be behind here, but we have so much time saving Moon. So much time saving Moon. Yo, code. Two jumps. One. Two. Two hops this time. 
Now he's doing a crisscross. Come on. Okay. Take it back now, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Good, I'm glad I kept doing runs today. I'm glad I didn't let myself get tilted after that. But that dumb friggin' it was half a mistake, half a glitch. I just kind of forgot it existed, to be honest. We should be getting it, I think. 13.49. That's the time to beat. We got two minutes. True XD, of course. Nope, not true XD, never mind. I messed it up. XD, though! Oh, oh it'll be close. This room's about a minute long. <laughs> What? Oh god, please don't cause me to wreck it. I think we got it! I think that's it! Come on! I think that's it! <laughs> there we go! A new world record! Oh, finally! With two controllers, I've gotten good. I've gotten good playing with my hands and feet. A two-second record. We can improve it. We can definitely improve it, and we will. This is the world record now. I the world record is 113.49 with one controller. I'm playing with two controllers now, and that's a two-second world record. Yeah, next thing, uh, I guess we're gonna be playing with three controllers next to save three seconds, so there we go. <laughs>